The following program contains mature subject matter and coarse language. Viewer discretion is advised. This comic always gets big laughs, proving once and for all that size matters. Please welcome Dave Burke. Thank you very much. It's good to be here. These last few years have sucked for all of us, right? In a lot of different ways. Dating has been tough. I'll be honest, I normally don't get a lot of dates, but you throw a virus into the mix and ladies are like, ugh. <laughs> and then COVID happened. Uh, <laughs> it slowed me down a little bit, I'll be honest, it has. I, uh, Seriously, I'm not joking. This was tough, this last few years. I am built for the dry spells, though. I survived it. I evolved this way. <laughs> I, I'm what you would call a sexual cactus. <laughs> a little bit of moisture once every six months is all I need to survive. I, uh, thank you, yeah, yeah. I got through it. I'll be honest, though, I did get a bit of action throughout this, this whole thing. Like in the very beginning too, like March 2020, the news was all doom and gloom, people are freaking out. And I was like, I'm gonna meet a stranger on the internet and hook up with them, I'll do that. I'm a, I'm a risk taker. Uh, yeah, it was an interesting, interesting time. Uh, hooked up with this lady, halfway through the sex, she yelled out, spit in my mouth. And I said, I think that's how it spreads, I don't know. But uh, it was early on, we we're still learning the science, you know? I, but it was, it was funny because, you know, she was very sexy, very sexually liberated, uh, and like, you know, that's cool. But she would turn it on me sometimes. She was too sexy. She'd be like, you're so vanilla. She would attack me like that. That is, I'm a freak, guys. Come on. I, all right, screw you guys. I, uh, I'm not vanilla. This is not right. And she's like, you're so vanilla. She was like, like, you don't have any kinks or fetishes. Like, I love when a guy looks in my eyes during sex and says nice things. And I thought, that seems very normal, actually. I don't think that's a fetish. That, did you have good parents? It sounds like the, <laughs> did they go to your soccer games? That seems very normal. I don't think I'm vanilla. She's like, no, you're so vanilla. Like, I'm great at masturbating. And I was like, I'm pretty good at that, too. I uh, I haven't really let you into that part of my world yet, but if this is a challenge, let's go. I, I just won. Uh, she's like, no, no, you're so vanilla. She's like, what's your favorite porn category? If you're not vanilla, what's your favorite porn category? And I was like, I don't know, most viewed? Uh, I never really thought about that. Top rated, maybe, I don't have a favorite category. If I'm feeling patriotic, I go popular in Canada and I salute the flag and do my thing. I, uh... She said, what's your favorite sexual position? And I said, I like all three equally. I am not vanilla. I'm Neapolitan. Three flavors. All right, come on. I tell you, it's, e it's either the mouth spitters or very, very nice girls I attract. And it's a tougher breakup with a nice girl than a mouth spitter, for sure. I uh, dated this girl for a few years. Uh, she was in her later 30s. She went to her doctor to talk about having kids, and she came back. And she said, her doctor said, if you want to have kids, you kind of got to start right now. And I said, your doctor's not being a bro at all. Can we get a second opinion on this one? That's, uh, <laughs> that's kind of messed up, you know? But we broke up. That is a tough breakup, man. It is. It is. It was, I was very sad after it. I wanted to do something to fill the void. Uh, didn't want to get a cat, because we know a single guy with a cat, that's the end of the road, for sure. I uh, <laughs> do have a cat now. I've given up. But uh, at the time, I was like, no, man, I don't want to go cat. I got an aquarium. I have an aquarium back in my apartment. That's uh, an artifact of that breakup. I know it's sad. I, I realize now that aquarium's worse than cat. Uh, <laughs> When I say the word aquarium, I can hear vaginas around the room drying up, just <laughs> sucking. But in my defense, uh, <laughs> I was watching these YouTube videos. If you guys go on YouTube and you type in aquascaping, you'll find a bunch of other sad men that have uh, 
clearly had some loss. It's good stuff. Punch in aquascaping, you'll feel better about yourself. You find these guys, they get their aquarium, they're like, okay, we'll put some gravel down here and uh, a few rocks in the corner. It's like a little mountain range. And we'll put some tall plants back here and some short ones up here. Look, it's a little world that we created. That's not so sad. Like, if, if you guys want to feel better about yourselves, look up Aquascaping on YouTube tonight and uh, subscribe to my channel. But uh, Winnipeg, you guys have been a dream. Thank you for having me. Bye.